What's up, sons? It's Blind Ride with Son of a Tech once again, and today I'm going to do a real quick how-to on how to set up a Carlson node and get your wallet up and running so that you can begin mining it. I will cover the WTF is Carlson in a later video, as well as how to mine it in a later video, but I realize that a bunch of people are wanting to figure this out, so this part we'll get into right now. Welcome back everyone. So first things first, we're going to want to create a folder that we can add to exclusions. We'll be utilizing Windows today. I also recommend that you do not install this on a device that you have any personal information that you want to protect on just in case there's any viruses, etc. on it. We're going to go ahead and do new folder and then we are going to just name it Carlson and press enter and then we'll have our little folder here for everything that we need. Next, we're going to go into our virus threat and protection and you can just do a quick search for that. We're going to scroll down and look for our settings. And then once we're in settings, we're gonna scroll down and look for exclusions. We're gonna add or remove an exclusion and click yes when the security prompt comes up. We're gonna click the add exclusion, click the folder. We're gonna go to our desktop and select the Carlson folder and then say select. So now the files won't get automatically deleted by our antivirus when we download it. So we're going to go ahead and get the latest release, which is just version 1.0 of Carlson. And we're going to be getting the Win64 zip version. We're going to go ahead and click it. When it asks us to save it, we do want to save it to that new folder that we created. And that will make sure that we don't have it deleted on us. And we'll click save. All right, now that that is downloaded, we're going to go ahead and double click. We're going to then open this file or folder and we're going to right click and say extract all. I'm going to say browse and then just select that Carlson folder again. And that way it'll just put the binaries directly in that Carlson folder. As you can see, makes it just a little bit easier for us as far as this is concerned. So now the next step that we are going to do is create a batch file. So what I'm going to do is just say right click and then new and then text document. I'm going to name it Carl Send, meaning Carl Sin Damon. And then I'm going to change the last 3.txt to batch. If you can't find the extension, you will need to basically go into your show hidden files in file explorer options. And then from here, you will see under file explorer options under system, you have the option to show file extension. So if you don't see the .txt, you need to come in here and change that. So now we're going to right click and we're going to edit. You can just edit with a notepad as well. Just right click edit and it'll open it up in your notepad here. It'll be a clean document. We're going to go ahead and paste this in and it'll be the colon XXX and then carlsen.exe dash dash UTXO index and the go to XX. This will just restart it uh, in the case that it's not running. It still won't start on startup. That would be a different process, but then we can do a control S or a file and save and that batch file will be ready to execute. So at this point we can double click the batch file to begin executing it. We'll need to allow the app access and then it will begin to sync. This syncing time can take a couple hours. So right now, because it is building, you're just gonna need to give it some time to go ahead and sync. But that doesn't mean that you can't go ahead and get your wallet address added. So the way we can get a wallet address is we're gonna copy right here the 
the path to our binaries and we're going to run open a new tab and we're going to say change direct well we need to open a new command prompt tab so we can click this little down arrow windows 11 click command prompt cd for a change directory and then we'll just right click what we copied from the other spot and press enter and you can see here now we are in this directory so if we run a dir command dir or directory command and you'll see that we have all the executables here that we are looking for so the next step is to go ahead and create the wallet we are going to go ahead and get it running but it won't be synced so you have to wait for the full sync to actually do any transactions or anything like that but you can still create the wallet and generate the address so the first thing we need to do is create a wallet. To do that, we're going to do Carlson wallet dot executable and then the create wallet command with just create. We'll ask you for a password. You'll just type in a password and then press enter twice. And then it will give you an extended public key. And then it'll give you a couple instructions here. So you need to get your secret key. So to get your secret key, what you're going to do is copy this and then you're going to right click it that will copy it and then right click again and that will paste it into the actual deal there and you can press enter and it will ask you if you want to continue and you'll press yes you will type in your password and then once you do that this is your mnemonic phrase so what you'll want to do is highlight it right click it We'll open a notepad, say file and new tab. We'll paste that into here and then we'll just say file and save as. You can go to your desktop and then wherever you want to save it that's safe and just name it, you know, seed phrase or whatever. Then press save. I recommend putting it on, of course, a encrypted drive or at the very least if you just want to you can write it down and put it in a safe that would be the safest way to store it but don't store it anywhere in the public eye because that has access to all of your information so next what we are going to need to do is open another command prompt here we're going to go back and copy the directory out again and change directory into there and at this point we can start the daemon so if we run a directory command you can see here we have the carlson wallet we'll highlight that right click and then right click again and that's an easy way to go ahead and add it in and then we're going to say start dash daemon and press enter and the wallet will sync, but that doesn't mean that your node synced and the wallet is syncing to the node. So for you to be able to actually send transactions, etc., or check your balance, you'll have to still wait until the node is completely synced. But what you can do now, once that is running, is that you can get your new address. So you see here, that's going to be the Carlson wallet space new address highlight that right click and then press enter you can begin mining to this address right away before your node is synced like i said you just won't be able to send any transactions out or check your balances or anything like that to check your balances you can just highlight the wallet command again do space and then you can do balance and it'll give you the balance there of course we don't have anything in there nor is the node synced at this time but it'll give you the balance later on once your node is completely synced in addition to that if you're trying to send it to an exchange later there are commands to go ahead and send that out and to do that what you would do is basically run the carlson wallet again and then you would do send and then dash v the amount of caspa you want to send like whatever that is 1000 and then you would do the space and the dash t and you would put the wallet address to of the exchange wallet you're trying to send to for an example or to whoever you're trying to send it to and then you would press enter and it will send that out. So that's how you send, that's how you check your wallet balance. 
and then of course that is how you create your wallet address for mining so there you go you can go ahead and get started with carlson today it is basically a supposed to be an asic resistant version of caspa it has quite a bit different emissions i'll be talking about all this in a wtf is video so if you're interested in it please make sure to let me know down in the comment section below Hit the like, comment, subscribe, and notification bell so you're notified when I release a new video. And I will see you next Tuesday. Don't forget to check out my crypto mining e-course at sonofatech.com. And also check out locals at sonofatech.locals.com where you can get the latest and greatest spec mineable coins that I am currently mining.